Good morning, Ram Nation. Today is March 10th, 2021. I'm Bryce Batchy, and here are your announcements. Attention, senior superlative winners. Please check your email. You should have, you should have received a document from Ms. Cook that must be completed by Friday, March 12th. Any senior that is planning on a career in the visual arts, including but not limited to art education, photography. We all know how 2020 brought us a year of anxiety, stress, and fear. But for some students, it brought forth a passion to produce art to relieve that pressure. Now it is time. Now it is time to show off that work and reflect on the, the year. The Richland Visual Arts Department is conjugate, conjugation with St. Francis University looking for artwork that has been produced the past year during the pandemic. Artwork dis will be displayed on the campus at St. Francis University in April and still serve as, an, as a reflection on, of how students use the visual arts to cope with the stress and the unknowns of the life this past year. It's time to start planning for the 2021 talent show. Any student in grades nine through 12 that would like to perform in the show should sign up outside of Miss Storch's, Miss Riggles, or Miss Keene's classroom. You you need to also pick up a form to fill to fill out after signing up. Spots are limited this year, so please sign up ASAP. The talent show will be on Thursday, April 1st. See Miss Storch or Miss Riggle with any questions. Attention, dodgeball team captains! Your packets and money are due to Miss Laura by Thursday, March 11th. Your weather forecast for today, mainly sunny to start, then a few afternoon clouds, high 62, go in! For your lunch for today, buffalo chicken, flatbread, a few choice of cheddar cheese or pepper jack cheese, go Rams! Sports wrap up for Tuesday. The Rams defeated Johnstown 6-1. Josh Slavik from the back of the puck three times, Jack Lawrence three assists, Gavin Lafferty with three point night, one goal and two assists, Ty Swartz and Dave, Gabe DeFamilio each scoring a goal, Jonah Horner, Horner stopped 16 of the 17 shots he faced. The boys basketball lost a tough game to Bishop Gilfield.